The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Matthew. Glory to you, o Lord. Jesus said to his disciples, You have heard that it was said, You shall love your neighbor and hate your enemy. But I say to you, love your enemies and pray for those who persecute you, that you may be children of your heavenly Father. For he makes the sun rise on the bad and the good, and causes rain to fall on the just and the unjust. For if you love those who love you, what recompense will you have? Do not the tax collectors do the same? And if you greet your brothers only, what is unusual about that? Do not the pagans do the same? So be perfect, just as your heavenly Father is perfect. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Well, good morning, my brothers and sisters in Christ. Good morning. Just a uh, little announcement here before we begin. Uh, we're going to be starting up our RCIA program in August, so if you have any friends or family members who are interested in learning more about the Catholic faith and potentially joining the church, please contact either myself or Father Patty. So today's gospel is from the Gospel of Matthew, and it is commonly termed the Sermon on the Mount, which is Matthew 5 through 7. So this puts our, puts our reading, Matthew verse five, uh, chapter 5, verses 43 through 48, near the end of that first part of the sermon. And because it's at the end of that chapter, much has happened to bring us to this point in the gospel. So to put today's readings in context, we need to look at the preceding readings to see what was going on. So Matthew sets the scene in verse 1 through 2. He says, when he saw the crowd, he went up on the mountain. And after he'd sat down, his disciples came to them and he began to teach them. Jesus goes up on the mountain, off in a place of divine revelation, like Moses going up to Mount Sinai. He sits down, and this is, this is the posture of a rabbi. This is what rabbis do when they're going to teach their disciples. And what does he teach? He teaches them the Beatitudes, Matthew 5, 3 through 16. Jesus is imparting to his disciples the characteristics and disposition they are to possess as his disciples. In addition, he's teaching the crowd of potential disciples, and us as well, what it takes to follow him, what we must do to share God's love in the world. Next, in Matthew 5, 17 through 20, Jesus established that he is the fulfillment of the law, that he has the authority to interpret the law, and he uses this phrase to express his authority. He says, amen, I say to you. And Jesus uses that authority to redefine the law and give six examples of that. The first two examples cover murder and adultery. Divorce and, and oath-taking are the next two topics covered. And the fifth is the subject of retribution. And these are Matthew 5, 21. 42. And so with that, we arrive at today's reading where Jesus is calling us to love our enemy. See, in all these examples, Jesus is calling us as, the, as his, his disciples to a higher standard. Jesus is bringing out the true meaning of God's law. My brothers and sisters, this standard that we are called to as disciples of Christ means that we are required to have God's law penetrate our hearts, to allow it to be a guide to lead us to living according to God's ultimate intention. What is God's ultimate intention for us? Jesus tells us in the last line of today's reading, be perfect just as your heavenly Father is perfect. While our fallen human nature will never allow us to be perfect in love like God, we do have the gifts of the Holy Spirit and the sacraments to help us. 
as we continue the celebration of our Mass, ask the Holy Spirit to guide us towards a love that Jesus wants us to live. Let the graces of the sacraments we receive strengthen us in that love. A love that is not tainted by anger or lust. A love that is committed to one's marriage and to one's word. A love that seeks what is even best for one's enemy. A love that makes us disciples of Christ.